movieweb.com. So I want to begin by asking you, Ryan, uh, talk a little bit about the genesis of the project and, and you know, writing the script, where the idea kind of come from, your motivation, that kind sure. of thing. Sure. You know, about five years ago, I, I read an article about a guy who had come back from Iraq, and um, within a couple of weeks, his whole life had just fallen apart, and he was struggling with post-traumatic stress disorder. And at the time, you know, not many people were talking about what guys, men and women, were coming back to. And... So I read this article and it just really hit me on such a deep level, you know, that this guy had served his country honorably, come home and just his life was trashed. So I decided I'd spend a good, as, as much time as I could on, on really trying to understand what soldiers were coming back to when they came home. And I spent two years just researching and reading articles, talking to people that had been through these experiences, just to really be more social, socially aware. Um, and at a certain point, I realized I had a story I wanted to tell, and, and, and then it developed into a script. But it really came back, it came down to just being deeply affected and having so much empathy for this experience that people were going through, and then realizing that it wasn't out there in the public. And if I could bring attention to it as an artist, that would be, you know, hopefully I could offer something to the conversation. So. And Ryan, when you got involved, it's such a powerful role. I mean, was it sort of daunting to take that on and kind of get inside that character's head? Well, I, I mean, I mean, to a certain extent, just in the sense that, you know, these are there's guys and girls that are they're going through this, you know, and they're and they're gonna watch it, and because they watch everything that has to do with their experience, you know, um, I want I wanted to be as honest as possible. I mean, I'm I'm not a soldier. I'm an actor. You know, I'm trying to. I wanted it to be something that they would watch and just hopefully feel a little less alone, you know, and and maybe spark that conversation that that might help these people get help you know and, and talk to the right people and 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 not just not their families as well for their families to understand what they're what they're going through and and you know because it's it takes a lot of patience you know when they that whole journey home is I mean it's this disconnect you know I mean the thing about James is he's he's trying really hard to, to yeah. do the right thing and, and to be the right person for all these people that you know that he's come back to, but something's fragmented and, and disconnected, you know, and that's going to take time. Is you know? that what he's searching for with the road trip and going to see his friends and, and going to the hospital? Is that kind of finding that disconnect? Yeah, yeah. He's trying to. He's trying to figure it out. He's trying to, you know, he is, he's a protector, you know, in his life. I mean, he's he's protected his mother. You know, he has this. This wife that he loves, you know, he's he's gone away to war, you know, he's trying to to get back to that place where he can be strong and you know serve the people that he loves, and he's trying to find it, I think, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And then finally, um, where do you feel the film with with all the other movies, you know, Hurt Locker last year, and 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 a lot of these other films? Where do you think the dry land's going to kind of fall in in, in those films for 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 uh, soldiers and other people to see? Well, I hope that this film offers something new, you know, and it's it's kind of almost like where the Hurt Locker leaves off, really. You know, this guy, come, it's like about the struggle of, of now coming home. And so hopefully it, it will offer a new perspective and, and really offer a new understanding of, of what it is like for some people coming back home. And, you know, it's a story. It's very specific. It's not it's not trying to be universal in any sense. It, it, it uh, Not everybody comes home to this kind of experience, but the people that do... You know, we want to try and do, you know, put something authentic and, and, and that honors their experience as much as we possibly can in, out there in the air. So I hope, you know, people respond to it and, and think that it offers something new as well. <laughs> but I guess we'll wait and see.